Hey everybody, Everton Zakin here. In today's lesson, I will show you how I use the Dorian sound when I'm improvising. Let's go! Let's see the difference between the minor natural scale to the Dorian scale. So we'll be using a C minor and then we're going to see the structure of these scales and see what is the difference. The difference between these two scales will be one note. This note will be the sixth note of the scale. If we think about the scales as numbers, we have our root note, our first, then we have the second, a major second, then we have a minor third, a perfect fourth, perfect fifth, and then here the characteristic note of the C minor scale or C minor Aeolian, which is the minor sixth. Then we have the seventh, and then the root note again. So it will be one, two, flat third, four, five, flat six, flat seven. Wrote. The Dorian mode will be first, second, minor third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, and then here we have the different note where we have a major sixth, and then minor seventh, root note. So it will be one, two, flat third, four, five, major six. Seventh, minor seventh, and then the root note. C minor. C minor Dorian. Now let's see the difference between the sound of this case. So you play and you change between the C minor natural and the C minor Dorian scale. Now that you listen to the sounds, let's see the pattern. So I will teach one pattern and after you learn this one and use these patterns, practice the C minor natural scale in the whole fretboard and the Dorian scale in the whole fretboard. The pattern that we're going to practice will be on fret 8 and the root note will be on string 6. So let's start with C minor scale. The sixth characteristic note. One more time, the sixth here. the Dorian mode. I will skip the sixth here, I will play here the major sixth. Sixth again. The 
There are two ways that I like to use the Doran sound, tonal and modal harmonies. If it's modal, I use the Doran scale. Now, if it's tonal, there are a few places that you can use the Doran sound, and I like to use it over the first degree of the minor scale. So for example, if it, your key is C minor, this is your first degree, I like to use over this one. When I use the Dorian sound, actually, uh, the note that I'm playing, this C minor, I should be playing the minor sixth, which is an A flat note. So this is the note that I have to play. Now, what I like to do, I play the major six over the first degree. So this is a non-diatonic note. But I like to think of this as a Dorian, because as I know all the Dorian, and I have the sound in my mind of this major six, so I like to think as a Dorian. If I think as a Dorian, it's a easy way to think about the sound that I want when I'm improvising. For instance, if I have a 2, 5, 1 chord progression, here I, I can use C minor over the 5th degree, C minor, and then the 6th, the major 6th, that gives this sound. So I think this as a Dorian to make easier when I'm improvising. Now I'm gonna show you some examples using over some chord progressions that is uh, inside of tonality, which uh, can sound a little bit different and with different styles. The chord progression that I'm using in this backing track, you have the first degree of the scale, C minor, the second degree, D minor flat five, and then the fifth degree, G7, preparing to C minor. playing I used a lot the sixth and I emphasized this note for you to get the sound now what I will do I will change the key let's play in minor another genre let's play rock now I won't play all the time the Dorian I will sometimes play the Dorian sound sometimes I will play the E minor scale so the idea the tip here is when you're using this note is to cause some surprise when people are listening. When you're playing in tonal music, use this scale, but not all the time. So mix it a little bit, and then you can get different sounds when you improvise. I'll use the same patterns, but now on fret 12, so my root note will be E, E minor, natural, or Aeolian. minor Dorian. Now I will show you how I use the Dorian mode with a modal backing track. So this is easier, I just play the Dorian mode. So it's important to learn the whole fretboard, but I will show you just the, in the pattern that we learned. So let's see how it sounds with the backing track. So the chord progression will be a very common uh, Dorian chord progression, which is the first degree minor. And then we have here the fourth degree major. So it will be E minor 7 and A7.
That's it, guys. Use these ideas when you're improvising or in your solos. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel, uh, leave a comment. If there's another things that you'd like to learn, please uh, send me a message. Thanks for watching. See ya.